I am off for the weekend. Yay, it's Friday. Just before I walked out the door, I received an email from Google telling me that my Gmail account, or one of my Gmail accounts, was compromised. That someone in the Ukraine, must be the Russians, right? Had uh, attempted to log in from a mobile device in the Ukraine. And that they did know my password, but that they were prevented from logging in. Now, of course, I checked that to make sure this wasn't some phishing attempt, and it wasn't. So, apparently someone has that password, and like many other people, I admit that some of my passwords are not as secure as others. So I did a quick check of my password vault, and had it run a security check on my passwords. And I have a task for this evening, and I've got 63 accounts I need to generate new passwords for tonight. Oh, that's gonna be fun! I'm home, and I wasn't expecting it this soon, but my automatic has arrived. Automatic is a car diagnostic tool you plug into the uh, data port of your car, and then it relays information to your phone regarding gas mileage, GPS coordinates, driving habits, car uh, problems, diagnostics, etc. And the packaging that it comes in is also a handy travel cup. Well, let's find out how this thing works. Comes with a sticker. That's a very Apple-y sort of thing to do. This is a quick start guide. Five steps. That shouldn't be very hard. One of them is download the app from the App Store. And just shake, <clears throat> shake this out. Of, all right, pull this out of here. Hmm, it's kind of stuck. Don't want to break my new cup. Come on. Time to use the big brain. Bring in the tools. Too slippery. The only, there's only that one little tab to grab onto. I can't imagine this is what they had in mind when they put this in here. Probably gotten jammed in too deep. This pair has teeth. I am not beaten. I have more tongs. Out. <laughs> None of the instructions say how to get it out of the box.
<laughs> I'm a reusable travel cup, it says. Maybe I can break the suction with this knife. I just want my new toy. Time for bigger tools. Finally! There it is, my new automatic. Now we'll just go into the app and set it up. Oh, gotta create an account. Let's skip that. So I got my account, and you take it out to the car, and you punch in the Bluetooth pin that's on the back of the device, and plug it in. So it goes in there. phone has detected it. It is connected. Now I must start the engine, which will require me to stand up. Engine started. Hit continue. Detecting the ignition. And we take it for a ride to see how well it works. And if you have leftovers, you just count it for We've stopped at Taco Tote for some tasty adobado tacos. Be good. Bye bye. Mama. Do the science fair. Mama. Head up. Mama. Stop it. Bye. Be good. And then yeah. we had to say farewell to Chuan. She takes her flight to Dallas bye. for the weekend. I am going through the passwords that uh, 
one password says maybe compromised. What a slow, tedious process this is. One by one, here we go. Looks like the BBC is on the list. But that's boring, so let's take a look at the automatic dashboard. This is the web version. You can also see it on your phone. This is where I've driven since I installed it today. I've made a couple of round trips out to the airport. And um, so it gives me some rough data, 71 miles a gallon. I've driven, uh, well, I've got a score of 100, and I've driven about 32 miles in an hour and 20 minutes of driving time. I don't know where it's getting the price here for the gas. Maybe it's estimated based on your area. These are the various legs of my journey, and if I click on one, all right, if I click on one here, I get more data uh, about the trip. Uh, this is one of the legs when we were heading up to El Taco Tote. That score of 100 just shows that I don't make fast stops or starts or speed too much. We'll see how long that lasts. Well, it's a good first day start. And this is the first grilled cheese sandwich that I made by myself with no parent or older people guidance. This side looks pretty good, but the back side is a little burnt, but it still looks pretty good. It's not too burnt. Now time to bite. Hmm. So that's it for today. Hey, the dog's barking. Big shock there. Anyway, I'm outside because it's uh, nine o'clock at night and uh, I'm in shorts. Short sleeve shirts, shorts, sandals, and uh, I'm just doing that because I have friends all around the country who are buried in snow. And I just wanted to show them why Arizona in February is the perfect place to be. But don't come here. There's, well, actually, no, do come here. We need to kind of displace some of the people who live here. Yeah, 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 yeah. My friends who live out of state should come here and add to the voting pool. Please do. Anyway, in the meantime, I would like you to remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you again next time on this show.